Hey there everyone and welcome back to Google Guru. Today we're going to go over one of the really popular labs for Google Calendars which allows you to add attachments to your events. So we've got a big board meeting coming up for Google Guru and I want to make sure that all of my attendees have the itinerary of the day's events before we get started. So this will allow them to be up to speed so we don't have to waste too much time going over the agenda and catching everyone up and we can just really get started with the meeting. So when I go to create an event, I'll just go ahead and add in all the details. And if I want to add this itinerary for the board meeting, I don't really have a good option in Google Calendars. I could take the sharing link from the document and just add it into the description, but that's kind of sloppy and it's not really a great way for my guests to access it. So if you scroll down to the bottom of your screen, you'll see this prompt to add attachments and learn how to enable the calendar lab. So click on the link will just take you to a Google description of the lab. So I'm going to just save this event for now. Go into the settings gear of Google Calendar and then click on labs. From here, I just need to scroll down to the event attachments section and click enable and save. And I can go back into the event and you can see here there's this new section for add that attachment. So if I click that, I can add the board meeting itinerary. So rather than just showing that share link that I could include in the description, I have this nice little icon here. This is just a little bit better at presenting it to my guests. So I'll go ahead and save my changes and invite my guests. So when they receive the calendar invitation, they'll also get the Google Doc included. One thing to keep in mind is that just by adding an attachment to the event, your guests won't automatically be shared and be able to view the document. So make sure that you set your sharing permissions so that your attendees can have access to the document. So that's all I have for you right now. If you guys have any questions, please leave us a comment in the section below the video. Thanks.